Good morning, farmers, as we hit new fields. That's right, headed back to our cornfield. Got to finish harvesting that. Got to hire a worker to plow it as I'm harvesting it so he can get going. And then I can come in behind him with this tractor and cultivator and get the field cultivated. Uh, try to get the field done to... What, should I get it done today? I don't know. Uh, yeah, look out, fella. I'm coming through because I'm not paying attention where I'm driving. About 7 o'clock in the morning, I have checked all of the beehives and no honey no honey this morning so even though we planted some flowers around they're not they're not blossom or blooming however you want to call it so i think that's the reason why they're not pollinating this is what i was saying before last episode so like i plowed this field and i hired a worker to cultivate the field uh yeah you can still see the furrows in the ground so when the workers cultivate a field they don't really take care of the furrows which uh okay we'll deal with it um, it's not it doesn't it's not as bad as it used to be I'll tell you that much the furrows they used to be really deep and a pain in the butt it's only really effective it, um, if you're the one harvesting it so if you hire a worker to harvest a field uh, the the bumps aren't gonna slow you down that much in the harvester as it used to uh, so I mean if you hire a worker you don't have to worry about it but if you're harvesting it yeah the bumps can slow you down a little bit so yeah I'm gonna bring the cultivator on the other side of the field I think I'm gonna uh, hmm uh, yeah, I think I can hire a worker right away to come in here and start plowing the field. Cause I, I, he shouldn't be able to catch up with this. So let's go ahead and put this down. But I do want to go ahead and get the trailer and everything all set. So no, I don't want I don't want to uh, mow the grass around here. All right, so this get that all set up here. Uh. Yeah, I'll pull in front of traffic because he'll stop anyways. Let me park this over here. I don't know where the worker is going to spawn. If I can't hire a worker, it could be because where he spawns, my equipment's in the way. So here's our, our I think our corn header is just as magical as our plow. So you can see what color it is. Can you get in the vehicle? There you go. And then when I attach it, boom, changes from yellow to red. Simple as that. All right, so let's come in here. So we're, we're working on two fields now, I do believe, and that's it. So farm stats, uh, 47. So we're seeding one field. That'll be 48. And it's still seeing crop in this field, so it's considered growing. So, yeah. But we're, we're going to go ahead and take care, take care of this field. I do believe today, uh, for the most part, for us, anyways. Let me go ahead and just get that down, and I'll turn the header on. And now let's go up to our field that we're in. Zoom in better so I can get a worker here to plow the field. And he should be coming around at any moment. Doing what he needs to do. Uh, somewhere. Right? Yeah, we'll give a minute to show up. Um, is my tractor in the way? Did I hire a worker? I might be getting you dizzy trying to do circles here, but where? I, I did click on the correct map, did I not? Um, hmm. Is my equipment in the way? Worker is hired to plow this field. All right, so if he does not show up here in a few moments. I will move the big modern tractor and trailer. That could be blocking his path where he spawns. Because I'm not seeing one coming along. Uh, you can see our other fields. The crop is growing. So that, that's a good sign, I suppose. Yeah, I think I'll have to move my tractor and trailer. And then maybe he'll spawn in. My guess is that's where the spawn point is. I, or I, I, you should be able to hire a worker while you're working the field. I've done it before. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna sit here and harvest all this corn today. Put it into the silos. Uh, the price of corn is well lower than it was the day before. I think it's down to five twenty-two, and I think the day before was like five forty. The price of barley is like 700 and something at the old mill 
which seems to be a really good price, but I think I'm going to hold on to it until springtime because, well, I can. And I think it'll be fun to see how much money we make at the beginning of the year, only because we'll have 48 fields of canola, and uh, I'll have a lot of corn to sell. Uh, we'll have some barley to sell. All that. All that fun stuff. Yeah, so I'm not yielding too much, and let's see, I made a lap around the field, and I'm going to get you dizzy one more time, but I do not see a worker anywhere. <gasps> I missed some corn. Yeah, I'm not losing crop, I'm, I'm going backwards. Alright, so let me get lined up to the next row here. Now, let's move the big modern tractor and see if the worker shows up. I don't want to put the big, big modern tractor in the field because then he'll be in the way when the, when the worker plows. And I do believe the worker will teleport through him if he's in the field. Alright, so if I move this guy way over here, will the worker not spawn in while I'm here? That might be another thing. I don't think so, right? Worker is hired to plow this field. All right. Um, how about if I do a little bit of this? Let me jump to the jack bear. Everything's going to spawn in here. Uh, well, we're done. We're done sowing that field. Uh, let me click a worker here to spray that field. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, should it be able to hire a worker? Tell you what, let's go up and uh, mark that. Where's my mark? Over here. So somebody wants some pumpkin soup. Let me go take care of one of these jobs I got today. Uh, where's my fence? Right here. Well, it's not my fence. It's the community's fence. Is that my plane? Is that my plane that just uh, dusted my field? Could have been. Looks like it's Maya. Good morning, Maya. Yes, I'll bring you some pumpkin soup. Hello. Good morning. Is there something I can help you with? I am dying for some pumpkin soup. Care to buy it for me? I'm that kind of guy. Sounds good. I'll take care of this. So, 126 <laughs> social points, little by little. Thank you. Here's something for you. Thank you. 3,000 more social points. We're back over a million. All right. So, is my worker in that field yet? Worker is hired to plow the field. All right. Um, I'm not really sure I know what your problem is. And I got to get rid of that star on the map because it will annoy the heck out of us. Well, it will of me. I know that much. All right. So, let me just get this tractor and trailer out of the field completely. Get around these bushes. And you know what? I'll just park it right across the street. Anyone coming? No. Alright. We'll park this over here. Am I going to have to fire this worker and hire a new one? Or... Let me get this one off the field. And since I'm over here, I might as well empty what I got from the harvester into the trailer. And I still do not see a worker. Well, I'm really not sure here. Uh, how about if I save the game, exit out, reload the game. Worker is hired to plow this field. Alright, well, I'm not seeing him. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to try two things. I'm going to teleport to a couple of tractors to get out of here. Maybe the worker will spawn now that I'm out of the field. If that doesn't do it, I'm going to save the game, exit, reload, and see if he's here, I guess. Uh, see you in just a second.
Well, I am not sure what to say at this point. Uh, I went back to the farm. I collected some of the goose eggs. Checked the map. No worker. I said, all right, let's, uh, let's try saving, reloading the game. Sat around the farm for just a bit. And no worker. Now, the map still says... There, there's a worker coming here to plow the field. I kindly disagree. Uh, <laughs> I don't see one. Uh, I may have to fire that worker and hire another one. I suppose. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna lose money that way, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm giving him some time just to pop up. I mean, he should pop up right here. I, I checked the whole. I actually checked the whole map, which is kind of stupid because they usually spawn right next to the field. But I said, I'll, I'll just check the whole map, see if I got a worker like coming from uh, 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 down by Steve at the port, and uh, I have no idea. I, I do not know where this worker is. Uh, maybe the game's tired of me hiring workers. Maybe the game's uh, just teasing me a little bit, saying, "Oh, so you think this is your last field? Well, we're going to prolong it for you and uh, make you hiring a worker even harder." I pay them good too, so I don't know what their complaint is or what the problem is, or is this a practical joke? I don't know. Either way, I'm not having it, uh, so I think it's time to fire the worker that I hired. Um, that's what you get when you hire workers on Craigslist. I'm just saying, I probably not the best idea I had. So let's go ahead and um, yeah, I, I, um, yeah. There's there's no worker here. Workers hired to plow the field. Uh, wait a minute. I can't even. That's interesting. I cannot uh, fire a worker because he's not here. Well, maybe I just have to wait until I finish harvesting the field. I mean, the combine was out of the field. I, I, I yeah. Let's just we you know. Well, let's just finish combining the field. Uh, we'll get the grain out of here. Get the combine out of here, and I'll scratch my head a little bit more. If he doesn't show up at this point, I'm not sure how to get rid of that. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens, I, I suppose. Um, worse comes to worse, I guess there's the only way out of it, and I would take a hit, is... Because I can't fire a worker that's not there. Is I could sell the field. And then the game would see that I don't own the field. So I can't hire a worker for that. Then I have to rebuy the field. But the problem is I lose. I lose half of what the field I bought it for. I think it's 50%. 50 so if I bought the field for 40000 I can think sell it for twenty, Then I have to rebuy it again for forty. If that's what it was worth. I have no idea. Uh... But we'll see what happens here. We'll finish harvesting this field. Cross our fingers that a worker comes along, starts plowing it. It just prolongs how fast I can get back in the fields. I was hoping that the worker would be here plowing the field while I'm harvesting it. And he can get like 30% done or so. And then I can start cultivating right behind him. Uh, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll figure something out. And if it doesn't work all out, then you know what? I'll just sell the field and worse comes to worse. Uh, I'll get half my money back on the field and I got to harvest a crop out of it, I guess. Uh, sure. Sound, sounds okay. Getting a little hungry? Well, you do get hungry when you get frustrated when you hire a worker from Craigslist and they don't show up. Yeah, I don't know why I keep looking for the worker. Uh, do I have less than half? Yeah, we're we're like 80% harvested, so... Yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure what's going on there. Uh, yeah, we harvested right through the Scarecrow. He He's good. He's all fine and dandy. So, yeah, will I get this field done today? Uh, probably not, but we still got seven days to go here to finish one field. And planting the greenhouses, not a big deal. That'll take me, like, ten minutes of real time to go around. Although, I still have to move my pickup truck that's way out on the east side. I need to move that pickup truck over towards this greenhouse, which is, like, um... I think it's in over that hill, in that general direction. Not the greenhouse you can kind of see in the distance. That belongs to someone else. But, yeah, it's over there. That's where it usually parks. Yeah, I was driving around the pickup truck looking for that honey book. And then uh, you find folks kept telling me there is an NPC and Red Berry that uh, 
that you can trade with and someone's up there and we found him. Uh, I'm going to have to unload the combine here shortly but I think I can make it around one more time. Yeah, so that's the only plan I got. If a worker doesn't show up, I guess I could... I would hate to plow the field myself to say, okay, well, don't sell the field. Just plow it, cultivate it, plant it. But no, my luck, after I plant it, no, my luck, yeah, the worker would show up and then plow the field. That would really frustrate me. And if he doesn't show up, maybe I'll sleep a day and maybe he'll reset in the morning. I don't know. I don't think I've ever had this issue where a worker didn't show up. I don't don't think he would spawn from across the street either. Alright, I'm just going to try to ignore the worker problem until after we get done harvesting this field. And we don't have much longer to go. Uh, like I said, we're, oh, we're like 14% from being done. So we should be done here, oh, by noon. That, that'd be great. Uh, it'd be even better if <laughs> I could cultivate the field today as well. But like I said, we got we got seven days to go Stumping to get this one field done. So and I still got you in my head from all those pretty words you said. It's like I'm wasted. Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space. I don't know where I am. It's like I'm wasted, and I won't waste it. And I promise that I I will stay. I can't get you out of my mind I will follow you wherever And I won't waste it I'll follow you Well, that is our field harvested. And I was thinking maybe a worker won't come plow the field if there's so much of a harvest left inside of a field well he's still not here anywhere worker is hired to plow this field all right well yeah I mean it will be this season will it not um, don't know anyways we are done with a harvester so I'm gonna bring this back to the farm maybe I'm my way back to the farm and I get on a render range of the working area maybe he'll show up um, but yeah I want to bring the the harvester back to the farm and I'll see you back there and uh, we'll see what is up because right now as for field work I am I, I, I don't want to say I'm done uh, we just have this one field but until the worker situation gets figured out here uh, we can do a couple of things around the farm maybe we'll even just save the heck with the day and sleep to the night or something uh, but I'll see you in a bit let's go ahead and wash our combine before we go ahead and put it away for the season. Uh, just wash vehicle. I thought about repainting it, but I will do that when spring comes. And nope, I want my combine facing the other way, please. So when April rolls around, I can just drive on out and go get the header, which is up in our parking lot. I did not check on James today to see if he needed a fish, but I don't think he does. And all the eggs are gone. What time is it? Oh, it's noon. All right. Let's close that. Close that. Um, nope, that is going to stick through the door. Yes, that is. Uh, that's not acceptable. Um, that should be good. There we go. And, uh, yeah, so far... No worker. All right, let's try. Oops, yeah, I forgot to reload the game so the trailer's not attached. Let's go ahead and put this. Do I have room in this silo? 13, well, I might as well top it off, right? Um, although I got to be careful about filling this because I don't want it to dump any on the ground either. What you can do, so I got to get, where's my angle? There's uh, my trailer. Can I zoom out a little more? Where's the, I need the silo number. Show me, show me the silo total. There we go. All right, we're all set here. 
So I'm probably going to stop short. We'll take most of it. I mean, I, I really should just go to the silo because I'm going to take up two silos anyway, so it doesn't matter. And just keep waiting for it. All right, and oh no, nope, no, nope, no! Nope, I'm losing it. I forgot. You gotta wait. You gotta give time for the trailer to go down. No. Well, the heck with it. You know, I'm rich. I don't care anymore. Why? Well, I do care, but whatever. Can't do nothing about it now. Yeah. So I just lost about three thousand. Was it three thousand? No, probably more than that. It was probably like five or six thousand. Uh, so, sorry, kilograms. Five or six thousand kilograms I just lost on the ground, which could come out to be like maybe four thousand dollars um yeah still no worker in sight at all uh the only thing i have not moved yet since we've been here and tried to hire a worker is the cultivator so let's back up and grab the cultivator you just hired a worker to plow your field look at that he spawned right where the cultivator was are you kidding me it hit me when i was down at the farm i said wait a minute my cultivator's up there is he gonna spawn right where the yes he spawns right where the cultivator is um so yeah that situation is kind of cleared out he actually spawns on this side of the road all right lesson learned uh but the problem solved but he needs a, a while to get along I am going to leave the trailer here for now and probably will through winter. Uh, only because I may, my, my first thing I may do is come up here and get the corn out of here and sell it. So I must leave the trailer here for now. Uh, and this tractor here as well. And just teleport on back to the farm. Uh, yeah, so Beavis finally showed up to plow the field. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I may come up and cultivate a little bit later. I'll have to give him like a, like a head start, but, uh, I'll meet you back at the farm and maybe we'll do a little bit of fishing. Well, back at the farm, um, I didn't get the message that, you know, the mice got into the pantry today and James is not fully happy with us, but you know, he could use a fish. I don't have one at the moment. I do have some down in the pantry. And as we learned, either fish will work on the fishing cookbook selection. So, um, while I'm here, I, I, I haven't checked, but I'm, I assume Rex is still down at the fireplace. And yeah, I don't know why I'm actually cutting this grass because it should be full grown when April comes. Which to me makes no sense, only because why would the grass grow during the winter? Inquiring minds want to know. There we go. Uh, yep, Rex is still at the fireplace. Someone mentioned he may be down here wanting to toast some marshmallows, but uh, I don't have any marshmallows. We could roast his sausages over the fire and uh, have a nice little cookout. Where do you think you're going? Into the lake? I don't think so. Oh, look at this. They're, they're like right here. Uh, can I cast that short? Sure can. I mean, it's that's hardly even hard to catch. That looks like a nice sized fish. All you fishy, no fishy fishies, stay right there. They're going to they're gonna disappear and nope, there's one coming back. Grab it, grab it. There you go. I like when this is close to the dock. You got to just reel them in just a little bit and you got them. But those fish look bigger than I remember. But then again, I have, as you probably know, uh, I don't usually fish. So I think you should, if you know, be able to buy bait from John and just have a better chance of catching fish faster. Come on, grab it. You know you want it. They're like, no, we've seen a couple of our friends already go <laughs> disappear. They haven't come back. We'll just grab a just grab a couple of them at a time here. It would be interesting if they actually had like a weight to them, and you could always uh, it kind of make it fun, you know, trying to catch bigger uh, bigger fish. 
Nope, they all disappeared. They disappeared into the nether world. They're over there now. All right. They're out there. It's going to make it rougher for me to drag them in. Well, not rougher, but uh, it'll take longer. So, yeah, I did check this morning on the on the beehives and all of them, uh, nothing. And as far as I know, and I kind of uh, concurred it with a couple people, that there's only four sets of beehives you can place. So, I, I, I won, when they did come out, I did go around the map, see if I could place them anywhere else at neighbors' farms or whatnot, and could never find a place. So, just a four are on the farm that I know of. And as of right now, the flowers that we planted yesterday got us no honey whatsoever. I do believe the next day is a drone race. So, yeah, we might just, uh, this might be more than a day on a farm, might be two days on a farm. Just to spread out the uh, end of the year here a little bit. All right, so got two different kinds of fish. Uh, I'm I'm a little hungry. Actually, I'm actually getting I'm down to fifty percent rest. Well, yeah, it is. Wow, it is two o'clock in the afternoon. All right, trying to give her worker a little head start, but I think it's going to take him a while to get going. So I am curious if I got two fish in the inventory and I go feed James. Is it going to take? Is he just going to take the first one? Feed the cat. Likes this very much. Actually, no, he took he took the fish with less nutrition. So this fish had 20 nutrition. The other fish had 15%. He t uh, 15%. 15. Uh, that's the fish he took. So, but as we know now, it doesn't matter because the fishing the the fishing the, the fish cookbook recipes. Um, even though they show you that one fish, they'll take either fish. Uh, yeah. So that there's that. I wonder if my wife has made any meals today yet. I kind of remember what she had in here, so let's, uh, no, she hasn't made nothing yet. She made one stuffed peppers and a hamburger yesterday, and those are the 10 sushi we made the day before. Yeah, she hasn't made nothing yet today, which is fine. Uh, let me go ahead and put all these eggs in. So, a trick I was going to show you is, with the eggs in here, sometimes people have a hard time collecting the eggs. What you can do... At least on PC. I don't know how it is on the consoles, but uh, yeah, you'd have to like move the mouse around, try to get over the eggs, and try to collect it. What you can do is bring up a tool, and the tool will bring up a trigger in the center of the screen, so you can actually see where you're pointing at. And of course, he's got to hover over the egg, and then it's easier to collect that way. So there's a little tip for you in case you didn't know that. Uh, yeah, but it looks kind of dangerous though when the ducks are sitting there and you got a nail gunner in your hand. What is he doing? Uh, nothing. Nothing. I'm not doing anything at all. Um, yeah, I don't think... I don't want... The reason why I don't want to put, put any uh, vegetables in here just yet is because I'll have to take care of the humidity for the rest of the year. And i got to pay for the water. So I, what I'd rather do is just wait until the last day of the season, plant them, uh, get the moisture just right, sleep through the winter like a bear, and wake up and that's that. Uh, so what I think we're going to do at this point is um but yeah i have no apples um yeah he's he's not gonna be anywhere he's only 24 percent done i would easily catch up with him uh when is this race uh one day to the rate the drone of race and I, is it oh what did i just click well my wife's tractor um i thought there was another event coming up guess not uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon just moping around and I think we'll sleep through the night and I think what we'll do is first thing tomorrow is let's do the drone race and I'm going to take a day off from work while the guy does the plow job and uh, yeah we'll just we'll just uh, kick back for the rest of the episode and do the drone race and call it an episode and I'm going to kind of like skip a day because all we got left to do is cultivate seed and fertilize that field and then do our our lovely little greenhouses. So, yeah, I'm going to kick back for this afternoon. Afternoon, I'll see you in just a little while. We'll wake up in the morning and go do a drone race and kind of like just wrap up the episode there, I think. Kind of a weird day on the farm, but uh, deal with it. Uh, just like I'm going to sit here with Rex and deal with that.
Well, next morning is here. Our worker, is, is he still working for us? Yeah, he's still working up there. I think he's like 33% done. Hey, 34% done. Oh, you got 1% done while sleeping through the night. Uh, transport, spicy pumpkin soup. Uh, I, I just stayed awake. Fix one of the buildings. Ooh, I like those. Uh, I may have to go do that. Uh, I think what I'll do is, after the race... You know what? Uh, we'll drop. We'll jump over to the truck here and take it up there and fix one of the buildings. Haven't done one of those in a while. Ooh, fix a build. Two of them. Two of them. I like those. Those are those are easy money for me. Those are what I call house inspections. Uh, let me hop into the car over here. Excuse me, truck. Let me mark this guy. I, I gotta move this truck anyways. Uh, mark mark the map here. Um, the reason why I call them house inspections is because I have repaired. Unless unless there's new houses I can fix since a full release I, I've repaired all the buildings so yeah they asked me to okay can you fix the building and I go yeah and I just have to walk into the building and stare at it for a second and then it goes ding uh, you're done because I've already done it and then I just walk out so uh, we call them house inspections around here I need to move the we need to move this truck anyways uh, the one thing I still notice is this pickup truck does not use any fuel I don't know when they're gonna change that if at all I don't know, just one of those things. So, yeah, our last field, uh, our workers go into town here. Um, we'll, we'll take care of it next episode. We'll start cultivating it. And uh, as I'm cultivating it, we'll hire a worker to seed it. And then we just got to fertilize it. And then we'll just kind of like skip to the last day of the season, which is September 30th. And uh, that will kind of be like, uh, like the second episode from now, the last day. We just got to plant the greenhouses. And, uh, yeah, we'll fast forward to April 1st. Uh, usually I would like to cut through the fields, but sometimes in this pickup truck you can get stuck. And I don't feel like calling for a tow truck. I think I've only called for a tow truck once because I tried way, way back when, before I was making videos on YouTube, driving through a river to see what would happen. And, um, yeah, the game is not like that. Oh, it's so tempting when you drive past these fields and they got crop in them to go ahead and buy them. Yeah, in the early days, when I mean the early days of Farmer's Dynasty, I mean when the game first came out, uh, the fields were a lot cheaper. Well, I don't, I won't say a lot cheaper, but they were cheaper. So you could buy a field that was ready for harvest like that, buy the field, save like ten grand, with crop in it. You could harvest a field, get the money back on the crop, and if it was wheat or barley, where you made, got got straw off the field and made and sell straw bales. Oh, straw bales were like three hundred dollars per bale. So you get a lot of cash on the bale. So you would like buy the field for like 20 grand, harvest it, make like 18 grand from the crop, and then sell the bales, get like 10 grand for the bales, and you actually profit from buying a field. Uh, that's why the fields, I think, are more expensive now, and the bales are worth, uh, to me, they're not really even worth doing for the most part. Um, but, it, you know, it does it does mix up and give you something different to do. Uh, so, hey, Joseph, how much are you going to pay me to do a house inspection. Hey, yo, Joseph. Hurry up. I got a drone race to get to. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. Joseph is from the 80s. I am looking for work. Got anything for me? A building on my farm needs some care. What do you think? I've inspected this house a zillion times, but I'll take your $450 and 900 social points. Sounds good. I'll take care of this. Alright, so... Yeah, I don't think uh, they've restructured the barn in any way here, so I'm going to walk in. Uh, just look around, and uh, yep, we're done. House inspection complete. Come on back. I'm really Thank hoping you. for Here's something for you. the event of fix a building, uh, repair the building versus time. Wait a minute, did that? Did, wait, 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 wait. I thought it was 450. I just got 300 and 600. 300 dollars and 400 social points. I thought it was 450. Did he not say 450 dollars to fix the building? Joseph, did you rip me off? Did he just nod his head at me? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're lucky uh, I got the cash right now, because... Tell you what. Your friend Joseph, I think, just ripped me off. 
Oh, Henry. Now that's a candy bar. You look like Rose, but you're Zoe. Do you have a twin sister? All right. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and... Where is... Wait, wait, wait where is the... Oh, the drone race is... Is it right here? No, there's two jobs. Where, where'd the drone race go? Wait, 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 wait. Is it here and I just can't see it? No, I, yeah, I saw a drone race. So there's a drone race, spicy pumpkin soup, and a transport job all in the same location. Sweet. Um, yeah. I'll do the spicy pumpkin soup and the drone race. And just because Joseph took some of my cash, apparently, I'm going to drive through your garden there. I'm not going to drive through those crop. I'll, I'll lose social points. Uh, I'll meet you over at the drone race. It's only 1.3 kilometers over there. Over yonder. Well, it does look like there's a crowd gathering for the drone racing event. Alright, so there are a couple of jobs here. I don't want the transport job. I, sh I shouldn't be rude. Hello, uh... I Ivane? It's like Ivan, but uh, the female version of the name. So Ivane? Never... Okay. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong because I and suck I at names. I'm not in the mood. That's no surprise. Uh, that's no surprise. So, entry fee is $20. The reward's 200 All right. I haven't done one of the time ones yet. Um, which one are you? What I was thinking. My headache is killing me. Uh, Frank, which, which one are you? You're going to be the so transport nice to see one. You. It's true. He likes, he likes his uh, boxes from Steve way down in the south. I am looking Just for work. Got anything for me? I am dying for some pumpkin soup. Nope, he wants a pumpkin soup. It for me? Social points 36. Why am I getting 36 social points? Every time. Um, Sounds good. Really I'll take care of this. Of this. Am I getting social points because I'm talking that with someone sucks. while in a group? Let me just, let me just talk to a random, I, sure. I don't want to say stranger. After all. She scares me a bit. Hello there. Promises. Well, hello there. Don't think so. Every time. It um, for the better somehow. I'm just going. You don't look so yeah, well. Yeah, she doesn't look Are well. I will right? say that. I am perfectly fine, That's thank true. you. I mean, if they're going to give us that option to say you don't look so well, occasionally I think the NPC should say they don't feel well. Then there should be like a drugstore in town. They have to go get them some medicine. Thanks. I'll see you around. I'm just saying. So the other job up here is a transport job. I don't, I don't want to do that job at all. Will you all just, just zip it for a second here? Um, enter drone race. Oh crap! Uh, I already forgot what's what here. Uh. All right, and then. Yep, yep, yep. Slow down just a bit because I gotta dip way down. Climb to trees. 38 rings left. What the heck? I mean, I'll probably go through them quicker than I think. Um, the only thing I hope doesn't happen is where the drone gets out of range. I think I'm flying around in a circle. Yeah, this might be an easy event because these are kind of in a straight line. But now that I'm using the drone a little bit more, for racing, that is, um, I'm getting used to the controls a little bit better. Although it sounds like the bees around my house. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I say I know what I'm doing for controls, and then uh, my brain just locks up and has a huge brain fart. And I don't know what I'm doing. But now they're getting a little fancy with the rings here. Up, down, up, down. It would be interesting if I went over the field where my worker is and I could see him working while I'm flying the drone. Uh, 
down, down, down. Oh, uh, crap. I think they jipped me on that one. Oh, that's right. There's a time we have left to get... No, 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 no. Uh, you won the race. You did it in, well, two and a half minutes. $200 and I would assume 400 social points. Too bad you can't paint that thing, man. I wonder if I go to the barn. Yeah, yeah, what'd you think? Uh, I beat all, all your butts, uh, if anyone. Yeah, they all look really impressed. They're all yawning in my face. Uh, so how are we doing on social points? Ooh, almost up there. Uh, so the last thing I'm going to do for this episode anyways is head on. I want to park my vehicle. Is this the greenhouse? Yeah, I got to park my truck here at that greenhouse. Fix one of the buildings. Uh, they're going over towards Oliver's. So, yeah, I'm going to go park my car and we'll do a inspection, if you will. And, yeah, just take the rest of the day off. I think it is a Saturday. So that, that kind of all lines up perfectly, doesn't it? Well, the job that we're coming up here to do, they are now over here at the pond over by Aiden and Clara's place. Somewhere. It's Owen. Uh, you're you're from you're from Wheatford, right Hi there. Hello. Hello. Oh, I'm looking see. for work. Got anything for me? So after we do this job, the, on my farm the last thing I need to do. What do you think? Wait. For, first of all, how much you paying me? Uh, one thousand one hundred forty dollars. I know. I know what building this is. Sounds good. I'll take care of this. Uh, it's Clark, Clark Honey. I was just at the farm. Yeah, way the heck over there. Um, is there a bus stop here? Not really. Uh, give me a minute and I'll run over there. But yeah, I need to collect honey because I teleported from the greenhouse that was over there to the farm because he was at the pond. And I said, well, that's closer. Teleport there. And I said, oh yeah, I got to check the honey. And I went by one and there's honey in there. So we'll go back and collect that after we finish this job. But, you know, this is over $1,000. But more importantly, it should be 2,000 social points, which would easily put us over a million. 800 meters to go. Uh, but I think I got gypped on the last one. Am I going to get gypped on this one as well? Just about there. Running through one of my fields. It's nice to see the crop growing. And in a few episodes times, all these fields will have full grown canola in it. And the yield is going to be unbelievable. I just got to remember. Check for the scarecrows before I, I hire workers. Yep. So this barn here should be all set. And uh, is he way back there again? Well, it's worth it. Uh, yeah, so I'm getting my exercise this morning. Uh, the good news is I think he's running back towards me. Or maybe he's not. No, he's still at the pond. Uh, yeah, I'm going to run all the way back. It'll take me about a minute or two. I think he's actually running back towards me now. Because he's getting further away from the mark. And I'm gaining on him rather quickly. So the question is, am I going to get what he promised to pay me? Because I don't think I did with Joseph. Hey, he's coming back. He, he probably heard that I'm done already. He said, he can't be done already. Yes, I've done the job before. Thank you. Here's something for you. He ran, and neither one of us are out of breath. Uh, 760 and 1520. That is not what you promised me. And look at our social points. You little... Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah, so maybe another day. Maybe because... Maybe I'm I'm getting the quote unquote discount because I've done the job already. So maybe that's why I'm not getting the full price of the job. Uh, either way, I'm getting a little bit screwed on that, but whatever. It's for me, it's not a big deal. Um, but any of you that are like, a, if you're starting a new game out there, any of you getting gypped on some of these jobs, uh, double check just to make sure that you're getting paid what you are. If not, I am interested to know if that's a bug, or is it because I've already done the buildings? I'm not quite sure. But since I'm such a fit farmer, we're jogging back at a pretty good rate here. Actually, if I drank coffee, I would have ran faster. Yep. Uh, I got, I mean, I got, I got tons of cup of coffee, so I should have had one. But since I'm just about back at the farm now, it does not matter. But we do have a jar of honey. 
Now this is the only thing I say about sleeping a week at a time. You sleep a week at a time, you're going to miss out on seven days of, you know, if you had the beehives. Uh, you miss out on that, uh, collecting honey every day, because it's not going to accumulate honey over time. At least I don't think it will. Where was it? Right here. So I should get one jar there. Um, also, you're not going to get accumulation of profit from your solar panels. So, yeah, sleeping for a week at a time, you do lose some some profits of the game. Uh, the slurry will still accumulate. Where's these beehives? Over here, any... Oh, wow. Sweet. Two jars. Two jars. And I was actually right over at the greenhouse. I should have checked that one. Yeah, the cows agree. Yeah, so we're going to just check out the beehives. And uh, I want to spend the day just walking around. Checking some things out. Uh, let our, our worker at Plow in that field get done. Uh, next episode, yeah, we will be cultivating the field. And when I get maybe like uh, probably 30% done, I'll go ahead and hire someone to seed the field with canola. And then it's not going to take much to go ahead and fertilize it as we know. And that's all of our fields done. And this is pretty much, I probably will skip the days to to uh, get the last day of the year. Then we'll do the greenhouses. And then when April 1st comes, uh, I, I assume the flowers that we planted over here to be all done dead but we'll find out uh first thing we'll do is plant flowers so our beehives can start producing honey at a better rate uh we'll collect the greenhouses and then replant the greenhouses and of course if the canola is a really good price on the first we'll we'll hire workers to harvest uh we'll probably harvest i'll probably harvest like a few fields and then i can start doing odd job not odd jobs but we can mix jobs up by plowing cultivating all that uh rex is still down here uh, since it's only 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm not going to go ahead and, and rest here at all. I will have something to eat. Oh, I, I was going to try something cheeky here. Before, I'm going to try it just in case. I don't think this will be a thing. Uh, first thing, uh, let's get rid of the marker here. Uh, where's Weeford? Where's... Oh, it's right here. Kind of blend in. Uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, the worker is still up there. I want to come in here. Fly this thing. If this actually works, I'll laugh. Uh, I'm going to say no. Basically, I'm trying to enter the garage and paint the drone. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, never know. You never know. Um, but no. Um, that is the correct door, is it not? Yeah, that's the correct door. So I can't paint the race drone. Oh, well. Man, this thing's fast. Right through the power lines. How far can I go with the race drone? Can the race drone... Can I check the field with the race drone? You can check the field with the race drone. Why do I need the other drone then? I could sell the other drone. So once you have the race drone, you don't need the other drone to check the fields. And I think this thing has a longer range on it. Hang on, hang on a second here. Let's go up and, uh, can I get up to Janet's with it? I know, I'm, I just said one more thing, one more thing, and here I go. Now I'm doing like a test session, session for you here. Okay, we're at, we're at Janet's. Right in the middle of Janet's house, basically. Alright, hang on a second. Can this one... Is the range the same? It's funny. So the race drone... Yeah, it looks like I, I can reach Janet's house. So the race drone... You kind of sit behind the drone. When you do the regular drone, you kind of are like sitting underneath the drone. But you can see the speed difference here. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the range is going to be about the same. Same? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, the range is the same. So, um, yeah, you don't need both drones. Yeah, the race drone will be able to check your fields. Yeah, so the range is the same. All right. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much done there. Uh, the wife is cooking. Rex is down there. James is there. Uh, and, nope, nope. 
get down the, there we go no and, and okay here we're here um my wife has not she's she's in the kitchen uh cooking uh i'll put the jars of honey in there i don't think i don't know if she has any recipes for honey but we'll keep them in here and see if she does anything with it but yeah there we go one more field to go um that'll be taken care of next episode and uh then we just got to take care of the greenhouses uh can i find a job to give me 161 social points to get over a million i think we can find something uh, even if I have to do a transport job, we will, we will do it next episode. Just get over a million. But anyways, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I think Rex did. Uh, I appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you next time on A Day in the Farm. But today was two. A bonus for you. But until next time, have a good one.